This is After Midnight. This is from a Lon Chaney movie called London After Midnight. Take everything out of the bags. It comes with a uh, heavy duty metal stand. He has a firelight, he has a crazy wig, and a suit, and then a cape. So this is Lon Chaney Sr. And Jordu did a really good job capturing that that makeup. And you know, one of the things I found as I studied this, in fact, when Jordu was talking about it, I said, well, He's wearing some sort of appliance, and Jordan goes, no, he isn't. And he says, yes, he is. Nobody could make a face like that. And he's like, no, he isn't. And he said he had wires in his dentures. So he put these dentures on, and they, like, pushed. This is his face. It pushed his mouth into this crazy smile with these wires. And it was so hard to wear that he could only film for a few minutes, and he had to get those things out. So he comes with a firelight, which is really cool, human hair, uh, eyebrows, and a cool, creepy wig, this top hat, and a heavy metal stand, and legs. You start by putting, there's uh, holes in the bottom of the feet that go to poles, and you slide them on the stand, and then the upper body, and those just slide right in to the leg poles. And then if you, his, his uh, shirt stuff cover this up or the, the suit, but you can pull the pants up around the top if you want. Then you can position the arms. And I, we designed this after a classic picture where he had his hands like this and um, and so it's you can put him in that position his belt bends at the elbows too now the one thing to be aware of that cape I didn't want to glue it to the suit so that you could do different things with it so what I did was just pinned the, the, the cape so that so that it can come up with the arm, which looks very much like the film did. And then, the top hat just finishes the look. And this is one of the most classic monsters in history. This is um, battery powered, which makes it nice if you're uh, putting them out in the yard. But that's it, Lon Chaney. Now, the film, the, one of the reasons it's so sought after is because in 1965, MGM had a vault fire and destroyed the only, that anybody knows of, the only remaining copy of the film. Coincidentally, we were checking the dates and things before we did this video. Today is December 3rd uh, and, 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 and 22, and the movie premiered December 3rd, 1927, exactly 95 years to the day. And that was like, Jordu did a phenomenal job capturing that bizarre smile that uh, Lon Chaney had developed. One of the things that we're trying to do with a series of characters like this is we're trying to blur the line between wax museum characters and a Halloween prop. And we really felt like this does. Now obviously, it's not silicone, it's not wax, but we really tried hard to get him beautiful and that's why um, we wanted to have the best sculpture we could and we put a lot of time into this guy. So anyway, there he is, London After Midnight.